We're here at the Farm Foods British Par 3 with Inter Mellon. It's your first time playing, isn't it? Yep, first time here. I've actually not played a Par 3 nine hole course twice in a tournament. Um, it's really unique, obviously it's quite small. So it's good fun because everyone can kind of see everything. So they can walk to the first and see the ninth. And it's quite intimate, which is, which is good. <laughs> How's the course playing? The course is in awesome condition. The greens are great. Um, most courses this time of year are all brown. So if you look around, it's all green here. Greens are actually quite receptive, um, but it's still quite tough because you get a few bounces and obviously with the undulation, it can be really tough. What was the longest club you had in your bag today? Um, I put a six iron in as a backup, but I did use a seven iron on the night. We've had somebody use a five wood for bunting little five wood shots around the green. Okay. And one guy's got a driver in case he needs a drop. So I've used the driver today. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so last week you played in the British Open. Yeah. That was your first British Open, is that correct? Yeah. How did you find it? Um, well, qualifier was on Monday. So Very good scores at qualifying. Wasn't yeah, it? I think 10 under won it. Um, what so did was, you shoot? Uh, 4 under 68. So because qualifier is on Monday and the tournament starts on Thursday, if you qualify, you don't actually have much time to prepare. And when I did qualify, I was obviously super excited. So there's a lot of hyper energy, excitement. Mentally, I don't think I was ready to prepare like a no for like a normal tournament. Yeah, the, the Rico British Open, the pro arms on the Tuesday. So if you qualify on the Monday, you yeah. don't get out there till the Wednesday and you pre-book your tea time to the Open. <laughs> yeah. So there probably wasn't much left for you, was no. there, on the Wednesday? If I was to do it again, I'd definitely approach it quite differently. I'd walk the course, uh, especially at Royal Lytham, you need to do that. Um, but I only played it once. Yeah, so Lytham's a very difficult course to play for the first time. There's lots and lots of bunkers. So in terms of experience, did mm -hmm. you, how did you find it? Best experience, best experience of my golfing career for sure. Um, learned so much, even just playing in practice rounds with um, the LPGA players. Who did you play in practice with? Um, Jenny Shin, um, Letitia Beck, and another Thai player, but all three of them were LPGA players. Um, but just the way they strike it so consistently, and so, they're so straight as well. And just to see them practice um, to different uh, to like, uh, what do you call it, the flat mats, yeah. um, chipping towards them, and it's, I've just learned so much. When we play a practice round, you either have the pin position from the last time it was there, which was probably 2009, but if it's a place you go to year in, year out, what we do is we put little, they're almost like um, beer mats, aren't yeah. they? Put them on the ground where the where the pin positions were the, the, the few years before, so people get experience that way. But if you've never played there before, then you're already behind the eight ball. Mm -hmm. Question for you, if you had a putt, to win, what would you rather, a putt to win the Solheim, would you rather hole a putt to win the Solheim or hole a putt to win the British Open? Uh, I'm going to sound quite selfish here, but say British Open. Yeah, well that's fine. Talking yeah. about the British Open, yeah. Georgia won. Oh, I don't amazing. know if you stayed to watch or you watched it on television. I watched it on TV. To play that course in minus five the last round was just quite special, wasn't it? Amazing. And I think... You know, even playing golf with George um, as an amateur when the same England squads together. Uh, she's won British girls, women's, and now the Open. She has the hat trick. She has the British girls, British amateur, and the Ladies British Open at yeah. 22. It's amazing, and it's actually really inspirational as a player and a friend to watch her uh, stand stand there with the uh, with the trophy. It's amazing. It was really amazing. To watch. Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.